watch you guys got another video here for you for the best linux alternative to windows 11 and to the tpm 2.0 module we're going to be taking a look at zorn os 16 there is a pro version which you can buy which comes pre-installed with loads of software and stuff like that so we're going to be taking a look at the free version here which is zorin os 16 core you can download this for free create your bootable media and install it on your system it's super easy to install linux on your pc and i know a lot of people are very disgruntled with windows and also microsoft because of this new tpm 2.0 now like i said this video is about for people that want to jump ship to linux and there's plenty of distros out there so i use the word best loosely because there is loads of uh, distros out there which you can choose from and i'm pretty sure there's going to be loads of linux people recommend you why didn't i recommend this distro over this distro and it's never ending so what we're going to do here is get this installed onto a virtual machine so you can see what it looks like and we'll go over some of the features so i'm going to go and install zorin os i'm going to choose my language on the keyboard pretty straightforward stuff as you can see here a lot of people think that linux is very difficult to set up but it really isn't I'm going to download the updates while installing Zorin OS and I'm going to install third party software for graphics and Wi Fi and additional media formats and basically click on the next button and go forward. So let's go ahead and do this right now and get to the next step on the installation process. So once this gets to this window, I'm literally going to click on uh, erase disk and install Zorin OS and click install now. And it's going to basically do all the work for me. Or you can do something else and create your own partitions and resize them and stuff like that. That's for more the advanced person. But you can do erase disk and install Zorin OS and click continue. And it will wipe all the data on that drive and completely install Zorin OS for you. You can choose your location, give yourself some details, some password. And basically, uh, once you've done this, it will go through the installation process and start to install it on your system. It's all pretty self-explanatory. If you want to see a full install guide, I will do that for you on a real machine. If that's what you want to see, I can do that for you to make it nice and easy. If you want to jump ship to Linux. Now, for those people that want to stay on Windows, you're welcome to stay on Windows 10 up until 2025. Or you can use uh, the Windows 11 upgrade when it comes to you free of charge. And if your PC doesn't support that and you're done with Microsoft, then you can jump ship to a linux operating system for free that is another good thing about linux it is free now you can see we're at the desktop and it looks pretty nice it really does have a really nice feel to it we have a very uh, familiar uh, menu system here which looks very similar to windows and you can go into Zor zoran appearance and basically change the appearance of how you want your operating system to look now obviously if you go for the pro version you get a few more menu selections where you can just click on them like this and it basically changes it to what you want so depending on how you have your setup you can set it up just like this and you can see it makes a big difference to the way it looks and feels this makes the configuration and also customization very simple for the beginner and person that's just come over from windows so for all those people saying it's very complicated, it's not really once you have a play with it. It really is easy to get used to Linux. It's just that people are frightened of uh, anything that's new. And you can see here we've got other layouts that we can choose from if we pay a little bit of money to get the uh, pro version. Now, when it comes to the themes, you can choose what color accents that suit you. So you can uh, set this all up how you like it. And if you like the dark theme, you can click on dark and it will give you dark mode basically and that's how it looks looks rather nice and uh, you can see the corners are all rounded here on the menu so it looks very much like windows 11 it's very smooth snappy and responsive as you'd expect the system resources are going to be low because it's a linux based system so not like windows where you have loads of processes running in the background linux will be a lot better especially on older systems even it will be a lot more uh, user friendly so you can see here updating your software is super easy it's got an updater here you can just update and install all the updates for your software and also you'll have packet managers which i'll show you a little bit later on where you can download software very easily find the software that you want now obviously this being linux you're going to have to use different types of software unless 
you've get software which is compatible with Windows and Linux. But in general, uh, you may need to get used to using different types of video editing software, photo editing software, and things like that um, for your particular install. And that's the same across the board with all Linux operating systems in general. So um, you can get used to it. There is quite a big option of software available, and it's all free and open source, which is another uh, good thing about Linux. So you can see here, the menu system looks very much like uh, a Windows-based system got all your videos and stuff you've got your software here and all of your other bits like accessories um this will give you all your accessories in here the pro version is going to have a few more already pre-installed but you can download these and install them yourself it's a few games here you can only install these as well if you don't need them uh internet you can see there's not much in here uh, office it comes preloaded with the libre office uh, suite and again we've got the sound and video this will give you uh, your sound and video software that comes installed you can always download more there's plenty more to choose from you've got your software updater here and also going back here we've got your utilities which is going to use for your backups and other bits and pieces that you want to uh, do here so right out of the box you've got pretty much everything you're going to need to get up and running with your operating system just as you would on windows so people always worry about the differences in operating systems uh, you know, well, Linux has some really unique features and uh, I do like the way they do things on Linux uh, over Windows on some of these things like their package manager where you can download also software, software here and programs. You can go in here and do a search. You can see editors picks if you want to install uh, Inkscape. You can go here and just click on the install and put in your uh, password and it will go ahead and download and install this straight away. So there's no problem at all at getting software. There's plenty of software for Linux uh, users out there. And these come in two different categories like recently released and also recommended graphics, applications, productivity, and loads of other areas like that. So you just click on the area that you want and it will give you all of the software in there. You can do it by rating. You can show by all and you can download from different locations as well, which are all safe. And you can see here, um, we've got your other areas up here where you can check for updates for your software click on this and it will update all your software make sure you're using the very latest versions you've got handbrake here obs and if you want obs you just click on it and install it that simple so the interface here for downloading and installing your software is very uh, good i do like that feature on uh, linux now going into here inside the settings here just as you would with the others and you can see you've got all your normal layout here as you would on windows the same in Linux, no different really. And you've got your little settings pane here, which gives you access to your network, your Bluetooth, your background. So in case you want to change your background images and you've got all your other usual areas like notifications, privacy, uh, you know, applications and all those other areas there as well. So you can go in here and make changes to all your settings and stuff like that to what you want here. So your applications are all listed here. You can go down here and of course i've just added a bunch of them inside here and there's some really good um software that they have on linux as well which is good for you know photo ed editing and also video manipulation and productivity and stuff like that very good uh, software which is free and also the operating system is free as well you've got your firewall uh configuration here we can go inside here and you can turn on your firewall if you want to put on a firewall here it's already pre-installed here just have to go launch and basically what that will do is it'll open up a little panel here just need to put my password back in here and uh, once that's done you should see status is off and i just toggle on and now we have our firewall on so very simple stuff so i think what zorin os is is a pretty good operating system which you can use which is going to be different to Windows, of course. Uh, there is a bit of a learning curve here that you're going to have to get used to because Windows and Linux are two different operating systems. You're also going to have to get used to using different types of software compared to Windows. And if you're heavily dependent on Windows-based software, then Linux might not be for you. Now, what flavor of Linux OS you use is entirely up to you. There's plenty of them to choose from, but I think Zorin OS... Have done an outstanding job on this it does look very nice indeed very simple to use and i think it's very uh, easy for windows users to come over and start using this you will need to learn a little bit about linux yes we know that but it is a very nice operating system i do like the look of it 
And again, it's got all the software you need there uh, to get yourself up and running. The fades and also the uh, transitions here of shutting down the applications are all nice and smooth. I do like the way that works. And again, rounded corners, just as you would on uh, Windows 11, except uh, Linux is free, of course. Now, if you've got the pro version, you would have to pay a little bit of the money for that to get extra bits. But you can install a lot of those programs for free anyway. Now, what about gamers, I hear you say? Well, you can install Steam on here. You can play certain games on here. There's quite a big option of games available on Linux now. And I think there's a lot of people out there that are waiting for the day when Linux can actually do exactly what Windows can do. And they're a little bit behind on the gaming side of things, but it has got a lot better over the years. You can go in here and download Steam and install this on here. You can see Lortris uh, to play a lot of games. And you can literally just click on here and it will install on here. If you've got an account already you can sign in and play your games as long as they're compatible on linux so what it does do is it plays a lot of types of games like csgo and all those types of games which are very popular but what i would say to you is if you play a particular game and you like to play that game quite a lot i would make sure that you check to see whether that is compatible with linux and whether you can play that on linux and if you can't then maybe linux isn't for you but if you play many different games, then you need to check the compatibility list to see whether those games are playable on Linux. And you can do that. There is a list out there that tells you whether games are compatible or not on Linux. Now, of course, it's not going to play all games. You might have some issues there, but a lot of games it can play. So I'm not going to spend time telling you the games it can't play and have issues like that. You can do a search for yourself on Launches' website. You can see The Witcher 3 here. You can click on this and it will tell you uh, the type of platforms that you play it on here. You can see how many users are playing it on here. And it says platform here. And it gives you some information about that game. So you can check them out and do a search on here. Do another couple of searches just so you can see here. I'll try Battlefield here. Maybe I should just put Battlefield in there. Let me just take that 2042 out. And we'll do Battlefield and see whether that comes up. With some games and there you go you can see battlefield one two three four five uh 1942 and click on battlefield five here and it'll give you some information as well about it and stuff like that so that's basically uh linux with gaming and yes it's not on par with windows on gaming when it comes to the amount of games that are compatible with uh you know windows and linux apex legends and you'll get comments here, people saying, you can see here, garbage game is not playable. And that's just unfortunate. Some people have trouble uh, playing games on Linux. It's not for everyone. It is going to be a little bit more difficult to get games working sometimes, but it is possible. And, uh, you know, you can do it. So again, do your research before you make the jump from Windows to Linux to make sure it does everything that you want it to do. Uh, but again, if you've got no other option and you want to jump ship, remember there is a Windows 10 until 2025. Microsoft will probably extend that to another year or even 18 months. Who knows? They could even extend it longer. We don't know. So there is plenty of options available. You can even play some Windows games on here, as you can see here. So plenty of options available for you, uh, whether you want to continue to use Windows 10 or whether you want to jump ship to uh, Linux, you can do. There is options out there, especially for people with older systems. Anyway, with that said, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. So that has been the best Linux alternative to Windows 11 or Windows in general. You can check out other versions if you want me to check out some other Linux distros, then let me know in the comments section below. And uh, I shall see you again real soon. Big shout out to my YouTube members. Thanks again for the support. Bye for now. Thank <laughs> you.